The Denver Broncos got their first win of the Sean Payton era on Sunday in comeback fashion, but they couldn't have done it without their rookie running back. Jaleel McLaughlin is about to explode, and here's why. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Scott Proctor. You know the deal by now. This is Proctor's Point of View, or PPOV, as we like to call it for short. As always, we love hearing feedback from you all and receiving comments like this one right here, and I'll address this one right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, my dog. I'm telling y'all, man. CJ Stroud is Joe Burrow 2.0, and the rookie made even more history on Sunday. But stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question right down here below. To today's topic, though, Jaleel McLaughlin, man, is about to be the next rookie running back to take off. Despite literally being the NCAA's all-time leading rusher, I'm, I'm for real, look it up. McLaughlin went undrafted but signed with the Broncos before making their final roster in the preseason. After scoring his first NFL touchdown in Week 2 against the Commanders, the rookie had his coming out party on Sunday during the Broncos' comeback victory in Chicago. He had over 100 yards from scrimmage and scored his first NFL receiving touchdown, making multiple Bears miss along the way. McLaughlin is obviously talented, evidenced by the 8,000 plus yards he ran for in college. He's obviously explosive and he can be utilized in both the run and pass game for Sean Payton's offense. This man, Jaleel, is electric in the open space with the ball in his hands. And after the game, Payton said McLaughlin's role will continue to expand. Perhaps part of the reason for that declaration from Payton is the fact that Javante Williams, the Broncos starting running back, left Sunday's game with the hip flexor injury. Williams is reportedly day-to-day, -day, but given how quickly he was ruled out of Sunday's contest, there's a chance Williams misses a good chunk of time. That should allow McLaughlin to truly take control over this Denver backfield. I know some of you Broncos fans might be screaming at your screen right now, but what about Samaj P. Ryan? Look, I like P. Ryan, and he'll play a role this season no matter what, as long as he's healthy. But after Williams left the game on Sunday, listen to this. McLaughlin got 46% of the rushing attempts compared to P. Ryan's 39%, and McLaughlin got 43% of the route participation, while P. Ryan got just 29%. So, it appears that McLaughlin has already overtaken P. Ryan in the Broncos' backfield, and with Williams now potentially out of the lineup, it could be, and it should be, Jaleel McLaughlin's season in Denver. McLaughlin and the Broncos will travel to Houston in Week 13 for a matchup with the Texans, and their rookie quarterback reminds me of a Super Bowl signal caller. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go check out my recent Proctor's point of view on Texans quarterback C.J. Stroud. And here's the answer to the trivia question, the one I posed at the top. But I'll see you right back here tomorrow, Proctor's people.